Alright, what's up guys? This is Terminator123 coming back at you with another tutorial after a long period of time. And I'm going to teach all you iPod users how to install a little program called Rockbox. And in case you're wondering what it is, it's uh, basically a program for your iPod so you can play Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance games, uh, you can uh, go to like Paint, you know, Paint on there, and all these cool plugins and mini games such as like the helicopter game and and with a little bonus you can also have uh, Rock Doom which is basically Doom you can play Doom on your iPod and the controls are really good anyways uh, first of all you're gonna wanna go to www.rockbox.org and I'll provide a link to the right and to the uh, description box on YouTube and once you get there you're going to want to go to the left side of the page where it says downloads uh, there will be a section for downloads and click current build once you have done that you'll come up to a page with pictures of all kinds of iPods and mp3 players but I'm imagining you guys have an iPod since you know this is an iPod tutorial so you're going to want to find what uh, iPod you have and in this case I have an iPod video 38 so you're going to want to click that and save to disk save it to the folder and once that is done you're going to want to open up the folder you downloaded that file in and here we are this is the folder and you'll see the file rockbox and what you're going to do now is extract it and this is a zip file so make sure that you have winzip or winrar whatever just to extract it and there we go, we're done. Alright, you'll have another folder called Rockbox Unzipped. And uh, I'm going to open it and see what's inside. And here it is, a basic you know, setup just to get started in Rockbox. Okay, what you first want to do is you're going to want to go to the folder again and go to the part where it says dot .rockbox. Here we go. And um, now you're going to just leave that open for now and gonna go to my computer and you are going to plug in your iPod and when you do this you're gonna have to make sure your iPod is plugged in in disk mode so you're gonna have to get it into disk mode before plugging it into your computer and to do this you just hold menu and select and then you just hold it and a black screen will come up and it will have the, uh, the Apple logo and once that comes up you're gonna hit you're gonna hold select and play and you'll keep holding that and a white screen will open up on your iPod and it will say disk mode then you can plug in your iPod otherwise if you don't do this it won't write to your iPod correctly and things you know won't get to your iPod okay and now you're gonna open up your iPod and this is what mine looks like and as you can see as you can guess you're probably gonna have to drag this folder into that and you are correct so what you're gonna do is just take it and drag it in and since I already have it in there I'm gonna click no not to copy it over or you can just uh, right click it copy and then paste it in there okay uh, once you do that you're going to go back into uh, your internet browser and you are going to go to this page and uh, as you can see you're not going to want to uh, you know look at the address bar and try to copy all that because I will provide another link to the right so you can get to this page easy and it is when you get to this page it's basically the installation instructions for your iPod um, and it will have uh, what you need to install your iPod and anyways uh, you're gonna scroll down and it's gonna say bootloader installation from Windows and uh, you're gonna find that and they'll have a link it'll say download iPod patcher.exe from yada yada what you're gonna do is you're gonna click this link and if you're using Internet Explorer you can just open it if you're using Firefox like I am just save it save it into any folder and in case you guys are wondering, this will not screw up your iPod, so 
just follow along and your iPod will not be screwed up. Okay, so once you save it, there it is, the EXE iPod Patcher. What you're going to do is you're going to double click it. Now, it will scan for devices, and here it is, it'll have your model and everything. So what you're going to do now is it says enter I to install the Rockbox bootloader, U to uninstall, or C to cancel and to do nothing. And what you're going to do is you're going to type in I and click enter. And I'm not going to do that since I already have it installed. Um, but once you do that, it'll just say writing to iPod, writing to iPod. And then once it's done, it says press enter again to exit. And uh, there it is, press enter to exit iPod Patcher. And once you do that, it'll automatically eject your iPod. And there it is, you'll have Rockbox. And that is going to be the first part to this tutorial. Um, how to install Rockbox on your iPod. And uh, I will go to the next part. You'll learn how to install Doom and a couple extras for your iPod. Thank you for watching. See you later.